Saturday, May 25th, 2019, the year yeah. of our Lord. Thanks for being here. Quite an intro. That's, quite that's an intro. it. You're going to intro that over Kiss? Like, oh, it is the Wall Day weekend. We are kicking yes. it off here. We're going to be honoring vets. And, then... and we've also got some amazing barbecue, I'm told. So I'm really well, excited Well, I intentionally about that. came in on 48th Street so I could yeah. walk through it. Secret. Because oh, yeah, you yeah, got to slow cook all this stuff. Yeah. So it's already cooking right now. <laughs> but for... and friends barbecue. And I, I've back. been told they have some veggies for me. So I'm excited about that. Well, I'm going to be yeah. elbowing Pete out of the way for barbecue because I literally didn't need all day yesterday it was my daughter's high school graduation Yay! i'll tell you more about it later but i was traveling back I so i need some tips to make sure and i'm pretty sure we have some vegan ice cream that's going to be delicious that pete's going to really enjoy so don't you know gear up for that from barbecue to vegan ice cream <laughs> it's going to be good i'm telling you cashew milk is so good <laughs> if you're hearing things you don't understand you're you're with me right here cashew yeah. milk all right so well, straight to a fox news alert i want to go for a ride on that a little faster than the amtrak yeah we shall so see awesome. well our next guest has the ultimate comeback story thank you for your service such an important story for us to hear this memorial day weekend good morning sir good morning good morning Al, could you just quickly, let's Morning. get first to your story of heroism. For what were you uh, given the Medal of Honor? Your book lays out things you learned as a bullied kid who then joined the military, went to Vietnam, served more than heroically. You have a couple of life lessons for our folks. The first one is you've got a responsibility to live honorably. Where did you learn that? Because they still apply today. The book is called Zero to Hero, From Bullied Kid to Warrior. We thank you for joining us on this special weekend. We know you will be remembering people on, on Monday. Thank you so much for all you've done for our country. Thanks, Al. Thank, thank you. you, Al. You got it. Al you. Specifically, Brennan and Clapper, and perhaps Rice and, and some of these other people along the way, were doing some things that they shouldn't have been doing. And that exposure scares them to death, and they're projecting out by saying, hey, uh, we shouldn't release this information. I mean, Donald Trump should actually be winning awards from the Sunlight Foundation and others for his openness and transparency, mm -hmm. not this schizophrenic approach by Adam Schiff, who says it's un-American, to actually look under the hood and hold people accountable. You've dealt with uh, a deluge of D.C. talking points before. Right. So when you see the entire other side start using the phrase cover-up, 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 is this just messaging? I mean, what, what are they... At do they really think they can lie to the American people and pretend like it's Trump that's covering up? It, it, covering up what? He was exonerated. There's no collusion. There was that. What he's doing is he's exposing. 